Hey guys, Nathan Lackey here with The Social Consultant. I know a lot of you have had some questions about how to exactly use Ustream and how you can leverage it uh, with social media. So I just want to take you through the basics of Ustream and how you can use it. So, first off, if you don't have a channel, go ahead and click sign up and set yourself up with a username and password. After you've set your username and password, go ahead and click login from www.ustream.tv and navigate there and then you'll come to this page and go ahead and click login. At the login page, go ahead and log in with your username and password. And this takes you to the back end of Ustream, basically your home base on the Twitter uh, on the Twitter back end of Twitter. Um, this allows you to do all kinds of things from coding to managing your shows to managing your broadcasts. I want to show you how to create a new show and then broadcast live. So go ahead up here to your shows and click it. This navigates you to the show creation page. Go ahead over here. You guys won't have any shows if you had just started. So go ahead over here under create new show and type in your new show. I'm going to name this training for Ustream and then hit create. After, after you've hit create, it opens or Ustream opens options for you to edit your channel. You can up to, uh, upload your show logo, which is a nice feature, especially if you're looking to brand yourself or things like that. Now, you may be wondering, where exactly does that uh, logo show up um, when the user sees it? Well, let me take you to my channel and you can see right here this is the logo so whatever logo you upload here it will show up right here just to give you an idea of what you're gonna see after that go ahead and choose a category now the importance of a category is you're basically optimizing your Ustream channel to be found more easier uh, or excuse me more easy on either Google or a search engine or even on the Ustream built-in search engine so you want to make sure you pick a category that's relevant to what you're broadcasting about. Since I'm doing training for Ustream, I'm going to put this under the category called educational. Under that, you'll see enter tags for your show. Now, your tags are basically like SEO for your show. So if I have no idea what Ustream is and I search training and help on Ustream, well, it'll take me to shows where their tags or their categories or their names have those keywords in them. So you want to add some keywords into the tags um, entry line that you think might be relevant to what you're broadcasting about. So I'm going to type training, Ustream, how to broadcast. And then directly under that, you'll see describe your show. Here you wanted to put a brief summary of what your show is about. Whatever you type here to the viewer, will show up right down here just so you know where it shows up again not very much brief is best this will show you how to use Ustream and then click save changes great now your new show is created and you can go up here to broadcast now or you can go to your show URL so I'm going to go to the show URL first so I can show you what it looks like. So this is just the default settings they have, uh, excuse me, the default settings Ustream has for my show. Again, you can see down here, that's entered my description. I didn't upload a logo, so the Ustream one is defaulted. Has your chat stream over here, which is nice, where users can interact. Now let's go back so I can show you how to broadcast. You just click Broadcast Now. When you click that button, it's going to bring up the broadcast option menu. Here, you need to make sure that when the Adobe Flash Player Settings info uh, kind of box shows up, you click allow. This will let you stream to connect to your audio and your visual. Now you'll see right now it's connected to my screen share because I use Ustream a lot for training. But some people uh, have webcams hooked up and you'll want to hook it up to your webcam. The way you choose your webcam is you go to video source, click the drop down menu, make sure your computer is recognizing your webcam, and then choose the appropriate outlet that you want to use. Again, I'm going to leave mine like this. Additionally, don't forget to set your audio source. 
which could be from a microphone for your computer or all Macs have them built in and Ustream will recognize that. Additionally, you can adjust the volume. I usually like to put my volume in the 70 range just so it's clearly audible to anyone watching. After you have all of this set up, oh, additionally, up here there's an update box. This is kind of like your channel's Facebook status. So I'm going to say going live in five. That shows up when I hit update it shows up right here for your show. So on this specific show, the last update I posted was the show schedule for today, et cetera, et cetera. You can put whatever, oops, you can put whatever you'd like in your update box and make sure you click update so it saves. Now, after you have all that set up, go ahead and click start broadcast. Now you're streaming live to your audience here on their page your video will be streaming right here and they can actually chat in the sidebar about and ask you questions or they can tweet it out or Facebook share it or do anything they really want with their friends and their network online additionally you can choose to record the program which is really nice if you want to have it you know if it's if you're doing a training or uh, anything like that so you just you just record your video by uh, hitting start record any video that you record will show up um, after it's done recording and converting on your Ustream channel, so you'll always have access to those. When you're done with your broadcast, go ahead and hit Stop Record, Stop Broadcast, and then close the screen. And that's the basics, guys, of how you do a Ustream show. I hope you enjoyed this, and again, my name is Nathan Latko with The Social Consultant. Feel free to ask any questions you have, and I'll be more than happy to answer. All right, take care, guys.